Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we have a new Humble Bundle of interest to game developers. This one is the Unity Hidden Gems Bundle. Uh, but as you may be able to see in just a second, here is one of the assets running in Unity. Uh, here it is running in Godot. So yeah, uh, some of these actually can be exported out to other game engines uh, with relative ease. And I've shown you how to do that in other videos. I will link that video down below. So you want to see how to use these in another engine, you can. But back to the Unity side of things. This is a collection of, I believe it was 28 assets of them. Uh, again, they are the hidden gems, so they're not things that we've seen in other bundles. I think of the 28, I actually only owned one of them previously. So uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. If you haven't, uh, you know, if, if you've been buying bundles like myself all along, well, this one is going to give you a lot more opportunities. This is one of my favorites here. It's like a, a neighborhood environment. There is a ton of props and stuff to go into making this environment work. Uh, and as you saw, you can actually import this into the Godot game engine pretty simply. Now, not all of these are going to come in, but this one, you bring it in basically as a Unity package, and you are good to go. All right, so let's go take a look at another example that I really like from this bundle. Uh, it is basically hex style um, tile sprites and so on. There's a ton of them here, so if this is the, the style you're going with, there's a number of different tiles you can build out. Um, you can build prefab tiles, or we can actually build out from uh, the base tile, like so, and then we could add props on top of it. Uh, so let's say we needed a road on there. We can add a road onto that tile like this. So you can basically turn it into whatever you want out of it. And I just love this art style. The only challenge is going to be, um, you know, matching the rest of this art style with, you know, other, if you need to expand upon it or you need more tiles. But I really like this one. And then one last one we're going to check out here is this guy right here. I guess I should actually say girl. Uh, this is a customizable air, um, anime character. We'll just go ahead and run it. And... Here she is, running. Uh, so there's a lot of configurability about this one. We're going to jump into it, take a look at everything that is in this particular bundle right now. So it is the Unity Hidden Gems software bundle. Like I said, 27 of 28 of these I didn't already own. Uh, you buy it in tiers. You buy a hard dollar or two. You get all the stuff above it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose. And thank you so much you do to help support Game From Scratch. Uh, I'm going to look at these in order, but I'm not going to cover them about, you know, what bundle they're in. So at the four, at the $1 tier here, you're getting these four assets, for example. And then you pay another $6, which literally nobody's going to do. No, sorry, not $6, but jump up to the $28 Canadian tier or the $40. Eh, we'll see how that one turns out. There might be some value in the median tier, but almost always it makes sense to buy the top tier. So I'm going to look at this as an entirety. Just keep in mind that these four first items that we're going to look at are available for one buck. Since there's 28 items here, let's just jump in and take a look at it. As we're going through these, take a look here. Uh, so if it's June 7th, that means that um, it was new to me. So if you see anything that's got a date other than June 7th, you may already own it and check your um, you know history or whatever. If you're wondering how this actually works too. It gives you a redemption key. You redeem it once on the Unity Asset Store. You enter the key. Uh, you assign it to a user in your organization, and then all the assets just show up. So super simple redemption process here. Uh, this is actually Unity putting on this bundle. So uh, the first thing we got here, again, $1 tier, is the high-quality realistic explosions. Pretty straightforward. And then we got 45 animated emojis 2D. Uh, we have the Pixel Monsters Volume 2D. Uh, so how many creatures are in here? 20. Uh, pixel art creatures in there and then we got enemy ai and enemy ai is for contains a complete ai system instantly configurable enemy npcs uh, features a plug and play expandable finite state machine uh, so that is this particular package and that is it for the one dollar tier uh, next we're getting into here's the hex medieval fantasy locations i showed you that one in action earlier on uh, we have the stylized element splash package volume one so pretty straightforward again. Uh, the low poly nature um, bundle. I think we've had something from them in the past in another bundle, but this one is particularly new. Uh, again, it's four different biomes of low polygon style art. Uh, the modern neighborhood house, Blue Dot Studios. This is the one I just looked at in action. Uh, it's a pretty cool package. This one, it's weird because it says the uh, HDRP, but it doesn't come with it. So um, you do have to ask them for the HDRP version of it. It is ERP only. It says it should have both. So I'm not sure if it's just packaged wrong there. Uh, but what I demonstrated was the uh, universal render pipeline version of it in action. Uh, next up, we have the humanoid 3D P08 Federica character. This is a highly customizable um, you know, anime style character. 
animated, so on. You have dynamic control over various different body parts. Uh, it works with the built-in pipeline, although there are now tools for automatically uploading things or converting things over to the ERP, so that should be usable there. It also does have some dependencies, uh, just something to be aware of if you want to use the dynamic bones and cloth simulation. It's using plugins to do those things, so definitely something you want to be aware of before picking this one up. Uh, then we've got the Spellbook Mega Pack. Uh, this one is just a ton of different icons. Now this one you'll notice is from a previous bundle. Uh, the Auto Exposure for ERP, uh, the Universal Render Pipeline. Uh, so this is a must-have asset for Universal Render Pipeline users who are looking for an easy way to add eye adaptation to their scenes. Uh, pretty straightforward. So if you want to have exposure dialogue in or an exposure controller, you can do so. Then we've got automatic animation move-in. This is for animating robots. Uh, a number of different styles from spider leg styles and so on. So no, with virtually no effort, you get a wide range of common animations for your model. Walk, run, strafe, jib, jump, recoil, hit, ragdoll, deaths, uh, and so on. So there you go. Next up, we have the Crafting Mechanum Animations Pack. This one, August 9th. So I guess there are a couple that were from previous things. Uh, so an extensive collection of 131 crafting animations, obviously in Mechanum uh, style. We get the Spear and Halberd animation set. Again, another set of animations here, 176 motion capture. So if you have... Um, you know, spear or halberd wielders in your game. Uh, we get the RPG cameras and controllers. By the way, I guess now that we're on something kind of interesting, if there's something here you want to see me do a dedicated video on, uh, do let me know, and hopefully I can follow up with it. Uh, this one is two character controllers. Um, so two RPG character camera and character controllers in one package for MMO and action RPG style games. Uh, character controllers are always useful. Uh, then we got Ian's Fire Pack, a collection of uh, 29 different fire prefabs. You can see them in action right there from just general burning to just a normal fire. Uh, we get the uh, top-down uh, WASD con character controller for action RPGs, RPGs, MMORPGs, and RPG Builder. So if you just need to add WASD movement to your game, that's one option there. We get a line, and a line is for making lines. So this is a replacement for Unity's built-in debug.draw in Gizmo drawing functionality. So if you need to have uh, lines in your game, better rendering quality and faster. So a uh, number of different effects you can pull off with that guy there. Uh, adaptive split screen tool. Uh, so split screen solution for co-op style games. So if you want to have, you know, you know, player on the left, player on the right. Although this is weird because it's got, it seems to be splitting them in very weird angles. I don't know why you'd ever want to do that, but you can. Uh, then we got the Archviz uh, Interior Volume 7 ERP. Uh, so this is for the Universal Render Pipeline, Arch Visualization. So if you're using architecture, um, you need to have a number of different assets there available here. Um, again, a really high realism thing, for, especially for ERP. Uh, there's over 200 prefabs in there, uh, and there's also a first-person orbit and cinematic controller included with that as well. So if you need a ton of furniture, props, and so on for your ArchViz settings or your you know real-world set game, it could be a good pickup there. We got the stylized visual effects pack, a number of different you know special effects. Uh, we got the pixel art platformer dungeon kit, so you can see... All the sprites of the tiles, etc., go together to make this guy work. Then we've got Undertone Offline Whisper AI Voice Recognition. I did not mean to move beyond beyond that. Net. Uh, so it is an offline voice recognition asset for Unity. Enhance your game with 99 languages, translations, uh, efficient performance, and cross platform compatibility for immersive player experiences. Interesting. Um, then we've got uh, same guys here Spark AI, Chat GPT Dialogue, and Tools. Uh, so Discover Spark AI chat GPT dialogue systems and tools, the ultimate suite of tools that harnesses the power of AI, revolutionizing your Unity editor experience and boosting your productivity by 10 times. That's a big statement. Um, so this appears to be chat GPT integration into um, the Unity game engine, including coding. Uh, so people are just loving chat GPT. If you're using chat GPT with Unity, I did a video on this. The, one of the Unity employees did like an experiment version of this a while back. Now this seems to be more about the coding side of things as opposed to populating the world. If you're interested, and let me know, I could potentially do a follow-up on this particular asset. I know some of you love the GPT stuff and some of you just hate it. So let me know what you're interested in there. Another one that's interesting, this one actually is a repeat from a different bundle. So October 19th, 2022 is the IntelliMap AI tile map generator. So it's for creating tile maps rapidly using artificial intelligence, which looks very quite cool. Uh, so allows you to um, create stunning AI generated tile maps, no coding required, uh, includes editor tools, runtime generation, and eight example scenes. 
I think I may have actually done a video about this guy in the past. Uh, then we got the ultimate outlines and highlights. This is actually pretty cool. So it's a common enough task. If you need to do, say, a mouse over highlight of something, so, you know, outside edge, or just get that non-photolistic, um, you know, edge outline design look going, that's what this guy is all about. We got the Brute Forced Snow and Ice Shader. This was from September the 4th, 2022. So again, there are more repeats than I thought, but still the majority of these are not repeats. Uh, and this is for doing, well, ice shaders. Pretty pretty straightforward there. Uh, we got the Altos uh, Volumetric Clouds Dynamic Skybox and Day-Night Cycle Kit here for creating, as it says, fog, clouds, and so on. Now, one of the challenges for something like this is they've been kind of improving their own built-in stuff along these lines. So it'll be interesting to see if that is ultimately worth it. And that is the pack. So there's no underlying theme to things here. It's kind of a, an a, like eclectic mixed bag of assets here. Uh, but realistically, if there's a single asset in here that uh, you know appeals to you, then you're getting 27 other assets completely for free, making it an absolute bargain. Uh, but again, let me know if there's something particular here uh, that you're interested in seeing in more detail, and I can uh, I can do a follow-up. It's all pretty self-explanatory here. Nothing there, nothing there. Maybe um, this guy right here, the Action RPG Move Controller, the Waz Controller, uh, these two AI tools right here. And again, I think I may have done a video on this one already, but if there's something here that you think uh, would be interested in seeing a follow-up video, uh, you know, I will get that in before this bundle ends. We've got, uh, you know, three weeks to do so. Uh, definitely a nice little bundle here. It, it's not super focused. It's got a little bit of everything for everybody. Uh, and again, do keep in mind, uh, you can actually take these assets and get some of them, some of them. So basically anything that's a straightforward asset, you can import it and use it in other engines. I will show you how you do that down below. Uh, but... Again, the lighting looks different. The import quality comes in a little bit different at each point, but just keep in mind, even if you aren't a Unity developer here, there might be something in this bundle for you. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. The Unity Hidden Gems Software Bundle. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.